This video will show you how to download music and import the music you downloaded into iTunes so that you could sync it with your device or burn to a CD. Uh, this is also going to be showing you how to do this on a, a Mac computer. So the first thing you want to do is open Safari and go to lachurch.net. When you go to lachurch.net, click on music and uh, for instance select the city you want to download the music from once you're at the music each album has its tracks here now the newer CDs that are imported will have this here which is a zip file which would download the entire album uh, rather you download the entire album or uh, a few tracks it's going to be the same process to get it into iTunes, but for the time being, we're just going to download a few tracks. So, on a Mac, you hold in the Option button, uh, which is two buttons to the left of the space bar. You hold in the Option button, and you just click on the track that you want. So, I'm going to hold in the Option button, and click here, and you see how it's downloading. Again, I want this track here and this track here. Now those are downloading. I, I did click on them but you can't see them so a better way to do this is to move your window over and leave this over here so that you could see it so you know what tracks uh, you are downloading. So option, hold it in, press click. Option and click on the track that you want so these files are done but now they're inside of your download folder so if you click the magnifying glass here's the tracks now I'll show you what I do to keep things simple go to your desktop right click and make a new folder uh, music from New York now if your mouse doesn't right click on your uh, Mac what you do is go into system preferences go to mouse or either trackpad if you're using a, a laptop if it's a desktop just uh, go to mouse and you see right here secondary click and set it to right make sure that this is checked because if it's unchecked and you right click nothing will happen you have to make sure that's checked uh, same thing on the trackpad uh, you would go here uh, there's no trackpad here, but you would just set it to secondary click. Uh, so that's how you do that. So after you create the new folder on your desktop, drag this music into that folder. That takes them out of your download folder. Now, you could clear this. Go to iTunes. Once you're in iTunes, see this this uh, this iTunes doesn't have any music in it. But once you're in iTunes, all you have to do is drag this folder, and it'll import the CDs right there. Uh, I'm sorry, it'll import the tracks. Then uh, you could delete this folder because it's been copied into your iTunes, and the files are saved in iTunes. So you could delete that folder. And uh, this so now you can hook up your iPhone, iPad, or uh, I, uh, iPod Touch and sync that music into your device. But if you wanted to burn it to a CD, it works a little bit different. What you need to do first is create a new playlist. You go to File, but you need to make sure you're in iTunes. So click on the iTunes window once just to make sure. Uh, go to File, New Playlist, and you could do uh, My Audio CD. Just name the playlist whatever you want. All right, so now that you have the playlist created, go back to your music, and whatever songs you want to be, 
on that CD you want to burn just highlight them if you hold in the command button you could click on multiple uh, tracks and highlight them and then just drag them to your playlist once they're in your playlist um, you could click on uh, let's see you can just go to help and type in burn and it'll show you uh, what to do but you can just go file burn playlist to disk and uh, once you, the, the playlist that you want to burn has to be highlighted and then just put in a, a blank CD and hit burn and you'll have a, a CD so that's how you download import sync and burn music to a CD or your uh, iPhone device iPod, iPod or iPad uh, using a Mac. Thanks for watching.